so i hope i am audible uh, i am visible also and my screen is also displaying uh, at your end okay thank you abhishek yeah so i'm just admitting more people here who, are, who want to join this session and then we will start the session okay so uh once again uh, good afternoon hello everyone i am swarit anand singh uh, i am a pmrf fellow in the department of mechanical engineering indian institute of technology jodhpur so today uh, we are here for the live session uh, regarding the course automation in manufacturing that that is offered by nptel under the uh, course code of noc22 me133 so uh, this session is uh, jointly hosted by pmrf and nptel as a tsap scheme where i am supposed to take this session uh, and and discuss all the queries and problems that you have and also to uh, discuss some of the problems that uh, are predefined and that i am going to discuss today so uh, this is a, a very first week of the um, uh, this session so if there is any uh, mismatch or if uh, there is any technical issue occurs please let me know although at my end i have tried and tested everything uh, hope everything will uh, go smoothly and will uh, complete the session without any hurdle so um, you all are uh, allowed to open up and speak up your problem and discuss with me interact with me so there is no um, uh, such restriction so if if you are facing any query any uh, if you are facing any problem or if you have any query you can discuss it with me so uh, i will give you uh, opportunity one by one uh, if you if anyone of you have any query so uh, just kindly uh, raise your hand and uh, then we'll discuss but before uh, that session uh, i have some uh, questions and some content for you guys uh, that i have prepared and uh, first firstly uh, initially we'll discuss that and then uh, i will listen your problem and discuss and try to solve those problems so uh, i'm sorry like people are joining continuously and i have to admit it uh, so it's nice to see like uh, more than 40 participants are here and people are joining continuously so as this course is very interesting course uh, and the uh, in the era of industry 4.0 and where people are talking about smart manufacturing this course provide us a thrust to build our knowledge and to gain uh, something more in the field of manufacturing so i hope you all have gone through the uh, video lectures and uh, the content that is provided on the nptel course portal and there was assignment and many of you have solved those assignments some of you have some queries regarding that you have posted in the uh, google forum uh, that uh, discussion forum so i will be taking all those queries also yeah oh, people are joining can i make someone of you as a co host so that you can um, keep admitting these students any volunteer anyone want to volunteer this hello Sachin, yes, Sachin. What do you want to say? Yes. 
so uh, we'll not start the session uh, i am just uh, going to uh, discuss few questions that i have prepared for you based on the uh, course content of the first week and then i will take uh, the queries from uh, your side so those who have joined newly i just welcome you all in the in this session so i am moving uh, i'm starting this uh, the uh, first part of the session so we are going to discuss uh, the things so i have a multiple choice type questions for you all guys uh, the question is on the screen it says the duration of a start of the development of a product to its decline of sale in the market is called so uh, anyone want to answer this question a product life cycle yes so it is a, a product life cycle and uh, so a product life cycle looks like this so uh, if any product is going to uh, come in in the market so we uh, there is a plot of sales versus time where uh, from we track the sales with respect to time of the product so suppose a new product like a mobile phone or something some vehicle is launched in the market so starting from uh, introduction to it uh, it's uh, of that product in the market with its growth in the sale and then at a maturity period and then decline of the sale so this makes a complete cycle and that we call it as a product life cycle so the answer for this question is product life cycle next question is mechatronics can you have four options what mechatronics can do that is enhance the mechanics of a machine replace the mechanics of a machine it can do both replace and enhance the mechanics of the machine or it cannot do anything see it can do both the things okay so the answer is c anyone any uh, anyone have any other opinion apart from c is there any answer no one so yes the answer is correct it is c because the mechatronics can help uh, can help in uh, enhancing the uh, mechanic mechanics of the machine and then it also replace the mechanics of the machine so this mechatronics is a combination of uh, different fields of engineering including uh, mechanical and electronics and more much more like con control systems computers uh, then uh, control engineering digital control systems all are combined together and that the intersection and that combination or integration makes a uh, new domain that is called uh, mechatronics so someone is pinging on the screen i have to see so slides are... okay slides are not changing So I'm resharing the screen. Just uh, I'm sorry for this interruptions. I hope it is visible. Okay, so we are discussing this question. Uh, that question was. Uh, what a mecha mechatronics can do so mechatronics uh, can do both uh, that it can enhance the mechanics uh, of the machine and then replace the mechanics of a machine so i was discussing like what is a me mechatronics actually mechatronics is a uh, what you can say integration or combination of different engineering domains including mechanical uh, electronics computer electrical control and all so uh, these mechatronics field have lots of applications in the field of material processing automotive aerospace medical and defense systems and all so uh, we in the today's world in the today's era we all are experiencing uh, the 
application of this mechatronics so the third question uh, for is on the screen now i hope this is uh, this slide is now uh, changing so the third question is the branch of engineering that deals with the emission flow and control of the electrons in vacuum and matter is called so options are system engineering control engineering electronics engineering and electrical engineering so this is a very basic definition like the branch of engineering that deals with the emission flow and control of electrons in vacuum and matter is called anyone want to answer this question electronics engineering yes so the answer is electronics engineering so uh, in electronics engineering uh, like from a starting uh, that electronics we start uh, like uh, we start uh, uh, studying about the uh, this emission of electrons and then uh, different types of chipsets and other things so uh, in electrical we study about the flow of electron but in some material okay but in electronics this this term the vacuum creates this difference the electrons the flow of electrons in vacuum and matter both deal in only in the field of electronics engineering in rest system and control engineering are the uh, very different from this fourth question is use of micrometer by a quality control inspector to measure the diameter of a machine shaft is an example of which type of system so in the course you have, you have studied uh, uh, three or three type of systems the first is manual work system then work mechanics machine system automated system and the very advanced is a cellular manufacturing system so what do you think what is the answer for this question manual work system manual work manual system. work system manual work system is the answer okay so uh, why manual work system so you all have must seen this micrometer okay so this micrometer is an instrument right but we have to perform the measurement operation the quality control inspector have to do some manual work to check the diameter of the shaft right so that's why measuring through this micrometer comes under the manual work system if there is some machine or something else which can perform it task okay and we just have to instruct it we do not have to uh, give or input our power our uh, or uh, apply some extra force so if if that condition occurs so that system becomes the work machine system if any system that perform its task fully autonomously okay we just need to program and just watch it okay we do we are not going to interrupt it we are just going for the periodic uh, what i can say we are going lo looking uh, uh, on the process that is performed by that system periodically so that comes to the automated system and this cellular manufacturing is some something that we are talking in the era of industry 4.0 where uh, we are sitting at our home and the machining operation or the manufacturing operation is occurring somewhere else in the factory and we are controlling that operation through the computer system or the uh, human machine interface or some mobile uh, application that we have in our hand so that is called so that is someone something uh, that is a very advanced level of manufacturing system that is known as cellular manufacturing system so this micrometer the inspection using this micrometer or some other instrument this comes under the <coughs> manual work system now fifth question i have the question is a machine is a combination of rigid or resistance resistant bodies connected with each other so it provides what a machine provides only motion only force both and motion force. and force or none of the above sir see both motion and force both motion and forces yes so machine both uh, motion and forces yes 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 you are right so the answer is both machine and forces because the very simple uh, uh, very basic concept that machine uh, is a combination of rigid uh, and resistance bodies that is that are connected in us in such a way that so that it can provide some motion and then also provide some forces to perform some task right 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन विच टाइप ऑफ सिस्टम अ पीरियोडिक अटेंशन ऑफ द वर्कर इन द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑपरेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड सो आई हैव जस्ट डिस्कस दिस दिस थिंग सो वेयर वेयर देयर इज अ रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ दिस पीरियोडिक अटेंशन इन ऑटोमेटेड सिस्टम सी सर इन ऑटोमेटेड सिस्टम इट इज वी रिक्वायर टू पीरियोडिकली attain that machine uh, which is performing uh, attain that system which is performing this task auto automatically okay so can 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 you give some example of this automated system that you have been gone through as a mechanical engineer you must have seen some some system some auto automated system injection molding machine injection molding machine so cnc okay. cnc is a, yeah cnc is a very common and uh, very nice nice example okay so in cnc we just need to program uh, we we just need to input the uh, cnc code in like we, we what what we call it as a program cnc program and then it performs the task uh, we we just uh, put the workpiece there and then uh, it select the tools and everything and it perform the operation that we want and finally uh, once the operation completed we just see okay the there is a component that we we required okay so um, in the automated system so there is a periodic worker interference so worker go like if the process is uh, much longer so we used to go the worker used to go and attend the machine and see that yeah it is performing its task or not okay and if there is some uh, some problem if there is some problem occurring or he just observe ki that there may be some problem in future so he can intervene the machine and then uh, uh, then again uh, then resolve the issue and then restart the machine so example for all these automated system are like automated machine tools just uh, just you said that like cnc and uh, this uh, injection molding machine then there will be transfer lines okay which are working auto autonomously for for uh, uh, taking one taking the object from one one place to another place then automated assembly systems so if if some if you have visited some assembly uh, uh, lines so there are there are automated operations are performed then industrial robot is one such an example for this system then automated material handling and storage system uh, avgs are there conveyor systems are there and then automated inspection system for quality control so lots of uh, uh, in the um, new new technology based on uh, like vision based systems or uh, laser triangulation method so there are lots of uh, lots of system which perform the automated inspection so all these systems comes under the automated system uh condition so what about, so next question is so what about cellular yes. manufacturing system does it comes under cellular yes system? yes yes so cellular manufacturing system as i said cellular manufacturing system is something that we are talking in uh in under the uh, like term of smart manufacturing and industry 4.0 okay so in cellular manufacturing what is the ideal condition suppose you are sitting at your home okay or you are sitting in a some room in your factory in your, in your industry not on the manufacturing soft floor okay so you are sitting there in the uh, on your system and you give command from there to run that machine which is placed somewhere in the workshop or on the soft floor okay through some device that like that computer or some some hmi or some uh, some mobile phone or through some application okay so from there you are controlling your machine you are you are physically not presenting in front of the machine but you are controlling your machine you are giving operation to your machine so that kind of manufacturing system comes under this cellular manufacturing system okay can we make it automated also even if we are controlling it remotely so automation is a step which must need to be completed before attaining cellular manufacturing system right okay. Okay. so as like progression of industry Uh, industrial uh, revolution you have seen like in there is a first industrial revolution where what 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 happened there uh, like uh, things are manufactured uh, by like workers okay so they uh, make their uh, make the component piece by piece okay according to their expertise then there comes the demand for mass manufacturing in the uh, what you can say uh, during the beginning of this world war second uh, this world war okay so there are requirement of mass products so machines are indulged okay so machines are bought into the manufacturing and mechanism are bought so through the machines same components are uh, produced in mass then in third industrial revolution what happened computers are 
introduced or you can say rule based techniques are introduced to the machines there were controllers were introduced to a, into the machine okay so we saw cnc there so cnc machines are developed in that era okay where computers we just we we give the instruction to the computer and computer control the machine the operation the machining operations all the manufacturing operations and then it comes to the four, industrial four dot four, uh, fourth revolution of industry uh, that uh, this manufacturing and in the industry so in this in current scenario what is happening we wanted to connect the machine with the uh like the machine should interact with uh, among each other the machine that are placed on the software and also we can interact with the machine okay so uh, in terms of like decision making in terms of uh, uh, producing a discrete component and uh, what you can say uh, uh, producing the component on the demand customized component you can say so this comes after uh, like in the industry 4.0 so okay. likewise like industries uh, this uh, industrial revolution is growth similarly if you want to convert a system or take a system to the automated system so first of all we have to start with like this so there there was a manual work system then there that that converted to the work machine system then that converted to the automated system and then in future or maybe at some places this cellular manufacturing system is uh, is employed okay so i will i will show you i will uh, i will make uh, i will give more example in subsequent slide uh, so that you can uh, this concept will get clear Okay. So moving towards uh, next question. Yeah. So next question is like, in the context of various production system, the assembly of automate automotives on moving conveyor is one of the example of which type of system? Single production machine system. Production is it is a production line system. It is a multi line manufacturing or it is flexible manufacturing. The single production machine. Single production machine. Okay. any other option product production line production line okay any other option pattern flexible, flexible manufacturing flexible manufacturing okay so uh, first of all like the one who uh, give the answer for this question uh, this uh, selected this answer single production machine so uh, why you selected like this why you thought this is a single production machine Sir, uh, conveyor is one of the. Yeah, there is a conveyor. Okay. Production is, system is uh, only. There is a conveyor, and then uh, if you have like, uh, if you have visited or if you have seen some uh, assembly of automotive uh, uh, vehicles or something like that, so there is a conveyor which is carrying the component, but there are some other machines also. Okay, other machines and humans are there, so they are they are doing their task to. complete this assembly so th this is definitely not a single production machine right Th because there is the involvement of different type of machines right yes sir right i hope you uh, 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 you got the answer why this option is incorrect yes, sir okay so moving towards this flexible manufacturing so why you have select like the one who has answered this uh, flexible manufacturing can you unmute yourself and then then just explain why you selected this fle flexible manufacturing why it is the automotives automotives moving and conveyor that's why uh, okay so you are saying that automatic machines and conveyor that's what automotive machine so uh, just just make a clear uh, thing i just wanted to clear the the two terms are there first is automotives and another is automation right or automated machines okay so automotives are something uh, what you can say uh, we generally call here automotives as a uh, 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 this vehicle or something uh, uh, which is which is giving us uh, uh, transportation uh, like if if it is if we combine the system so it will produce a body that is uh, that is able to carry some load or uh, transfer from one place to another place so that comes into the automotives right that is vehicle okay so that is automotive and automation is something which is performing without any intervention of human being okay so here this is the assembly of automate automotives so automotives mean this is the we are we are talking about some uh, some components okay not the uh, that 
not in the term of like automation right so here uh, this flexible manufacturing term is also not suitable for this okay so this is the this comes in the uh, term of uh, um, production line okay because there is a production line okay there is a continuous production line where certain number of like uh, there is a suppose this is the like uh, chassis of that automotive uh, component so it keep moving forward okay and there are there are set, several stations okay so at e, at each stations uh, uh, some certain task are performed like su suppose at first station there will be some uh, screws and some other components are attached with this then at another station there will be some painting operation another station there will be some uh, stickers are uh, placed here okay so it is moving on the conveyor belt and different machines and different uh, mechanisms are we are applying uh, through the different machines so this is a complete what you can say this is the production line okay so for uh, like yeah just be yeah so for clearing this concept i have a video okay just you can see there is a uh, production there is a production uh, line where the automotive is getting assembled so this is a video from uh, this is a clip from an youtube so link is also provided there you can watch the full video okay so this is a very what you can say next generation uh, assembly line of automotive okay so there are uh, there there is a there are conveyor belt so it is uh, taking the uh, taking the uh component or uh, body from one place to another place and the workers are performing different this different operations okay so like this is a this is an advanced level of conveyor system that that we have seen there are lots of sensors are involved so the machines are performing their task automatically once they are sensing that yeah the component is now at uh, this particular station and then i have to perform this operation so this is the one clip you can uh, see uh, how this production line look like so you can watch this full video uh, on the given link or you can search some other videos of like what 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 uh, is the production line actually i hope you got the answers and concept is clear till now hello yes sir okay thank you uh, so i'm just checking uh, there are some messages and So, so these are the answer. I think answers of the questions that uh, we are solving. Okay, uh, I'm again presenting the same screen. I hope it is now uh, again visible to you all. Yes, sir. So, again, uh, so the eighth question. We are moving towards the eighth question. so again uh, there is a question for uh, regarding this uh, yeah so question is in a typical production system the planning and controlling of production orders will be handled by so which section handle the planning and controlling of production orders so it is it work support system is it uh, sorry worker support system is it order support system is it facilities support system or is it manufacturing support system any answer manufacturing support si system manufacturing support system okay any other answer uh, facility support system sir facility support system okay any other answer sir here manufacturing uh, support system production right sir yes So here the production is controlled by the planning. So the production team has to done. So order support system. Order support system. Yes. So uh, yeah. So uh, this comes under the manufacturing support system. So I hope you have studied about only two type of support system in this. First is facilities. Another is manufacturing support system. Right. Rest two yes, are rest two are the sub part of this worker support system, order support system. These are they are sub part of this. But here, what what is happening? They are planning and controlling the production orders, 
and the production orders and uh, this planning of the pro, the, pro, uh, the pro production of any product it is handled by the manufacturing support system facility support system is something that provides us the facility for producing the components or doing the manufacturing operation right so first two options are not there in this okay in the con any context these are the two uh, where we we are, i thought you have uh, this confusion the facility support system and the manufacturing support system so facility support system is something where we can we get the facilities where we get the uh, required components for performing our operation or performing the operation uh, that is required and in manufacturing support system uh, it perform the operation it plans the operation it controls the operation and do rest of the things right so sir could you give me an example for facility manufacturing system yeah yeah we'll discuss we, there's a question in the uh, this uh, discussion okay. forum yeah i will discuss more in that in detail there also okay um, moving to our next next question the ninth question is in which type of production system a human worker operates powered equipment such as machine tools or other production so i have discussed this question i want the correct answer of this question sir automated system work worker machine system uh work yes. machine so the one who is answer this automated system uh you are not listening the lecture i think uh, but yeah um, if you have any confusion we will i will try to clear it that so this is not at all an automated system right why not automated system because here what is written a human worker right this this term is there human worker operates okay so human if if something which is operates operated by human worker that then that is not lying under this automated system right if there is if a system is called automated system only when when it is performing its task autonomously without any human intervention no one is going to intervene the operation of that system okay so this is definitely a work machine system okay so through this example i want to clear the concept again so here on the screen there are three kind of uh, same three generation of same machine so uh, what is this can anyone say uh, like speak up what what can anyone identify this what is this these machines are drill drill uh, drilling, drilling machine, machine. Drill. Yeah, drilling yeah, machine. Yeah, yeah so this is this is a drilling machine right so this is the first generation drilling machine which is like uh what you can say uh, much more um, uh like customized yeah customized okay so and then this is the second generation and then this is a third generation machine so this this drilling machine you uh, one uh, once you have visited to some carpenter shop or uh, uh what you can say some basic uh, yeah only car carpentry shop people are using and maybe some machines who are uh, building the house okay so they use this kind of machine okay so which are operated by their hand so use with this this is the uh, what you can say uh, 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 handle there is a handle they rotate this handle and the rotation of this handle the motion there there are some gear train so which converted into the rotation of this spindle and here yeah so uh, here there is a drill bit so which perform the drilling operation so in this system what is happening human there, there is a there, this is a, there is a mechanism but human has to a human operator has to perform the operation by op, by applying the force okay so by applying his own energy so this comes under which which system this Ma manual work system so this is yeah this is the manual work system right now this machine if you are from mechanical background or you have if you have visited uh, some uh, manufacturing workshop or a mechanical workshop at your college okay so you must have seen this kind of machine so this here there is a motor this is a electrical electric, uh, electricity is provided to that and it, there is electric motor okay so uh, we just need to switch on this motor so this motor rotates and there are some gear uh, trains are there and the rotation of this motor is converted to the rotation of this spindle right there is a drill bit again okay which perform the drilling operation but here what you have to do we here but just we have to place the work here and then see whether it is where where we have to uh, where we have to drill 
okay we have to mark the points on the work piece okay suppose i want the drill uh, hole here so i have to mark this here and then we have to place that work piece exactly at the uh, position where this drill is going to touch this work piece right so we we are not going to we are not applying the force here okay we are not applying to uh, our energy in performing the operation we are just uh, the operation is performed by the machine and we are just guiding it okay so this machine system this machine system or this machines come under which system worker machine system this is manual the, system uh, why manual system worker machine this, system yeah this is this comes under worker machine system na for manual work manual work machine or manual work system what i said for manual work system you have to apply the force you have to apply the energy of your own or, or a operator is applying in their uh, his energy okay and he is performing all the operation here here we are not going to perform the we are not going to input our energy for performing the drilling operation the drilling the force that is required to drill any work piece or any component is is uh, it is coming from this machine this motor this electrical motor this, that is that is uh, termed uh, generally termed as a machine right so this comes under work machine system and then third this is the automated system how automated system because it takes like this is a cnc drill you can say so it takes cnc uh, uh, code okay the computer uh, numeric code inside it and it knows that yeah this is the work like we just need to place the work piece on the workbench and then rest of rest of the thing it will do it will it knows that yeah i have to perform the drilling operation here here and here okay it already knows the coordinate the x uh, uh, this workbench automatically moves okay through and fro and then its head also moves up and down automatically okay and perform the drilling operation based on the in instruction that we have already given it to it in terms of code we are not going to intervene it we are not going to again move the uh, this uh, we are not going to move uh, this uh, what you can say uh, this workbench in y y direction x direction or z direction or any any direction here we are, we have there there are several uh, what you can say systems to uh, like he, uh, we have to pull this so that this head comes down okay and drilling operation get performed we have to move this uh, in uh, x y plane okay so that this uh, the uh, the drill bit comes exactly at the center point where we want to uh, drill the work piece okay so here we are not going to do we are just going to mount the work piece on the workbench and this is getting very messy yeah so uh, here we we just we just place the work piece here and it will perform all the operation so it comes under the automated system right now any confusion here yes sir i hope those who have answered wrong got the uh, got the answer right i'm just checking once again that someone is connected to join so there are some messages okay so again there are the options that i have asked so i hope you are uh, uh, enjoying the session and you are getting some informative uh, information and your concepts are getting enriched yes sir yeah okay sir, uh, one more thing sir ha huh. sir could you tell me the facilities um facilities of manufacturing system i said yeah, yeah. that two manufacturing systems are here yeah 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 i will discuss, i'll i'll going to discuss in subsequent slide yeah just wait yeah so ninth question uh, here we have so the smart technology enabled device in smart technology enabled device the gyroscope sensor are used to measure what so have you term uh, have you heard about this gyroscope sensor it measures the rotation sir yeah so gyroscope sensors are used to measure the angular rotation uh, or angular rotation velocity right so uh, smart technology enabled device means what in your smartphone also uh, in your uh, mobile phone there is a gyroscope sensor when once you purchase a phone you you just see the specifications so there are lots of sensor in your phone right so one of the sensor is the gyroscope sensor 
so because of this gyroscope sensor uh, you are able to count your like what you can say speed or steps that you are walking in a day okay there are certain apps are there so which are counting your steps and everything so all all those are just because of this gyroscope sensor and there are lots of other sensor that performing uh, different different tasks okay so gyroscope sensor is used for angular rotational velocity so as i said in a uh, in a mobile phone there are lots of sensors you can see the proximity sensor ambient sensor cmos sensor and all so with the uh, progress of course you will be learning about or you will be going through uh, all the sensors which are uh, so near or much more many more other sensors also sir your screen is free sir we can't see yes, yes. yes. screen is free sir sorry 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 uh, so i hope this was this was visible right no sir yes sir you have seen this or not sir it shows multiple choice question ninth uh, ninth question sir so you have seen all this na you, you, this screen was not yes, sir we have not seen that okay did you hadn't seen that okay okay sorry so now is it is it visible yes sir yes. Yes. yeah so yeah i am i am uh, i am discussing this question that in the smart technology enabled devices the gyroscope sensor are used to measure what thing so answer was angular rotational velocity so i was talking like in a micro uh, in a, um, uh, a smartphone or a mobile phone that you have you must have uh, seen uh, you have you must have seen the details or uh, the uh, what what your phone has so in that you you may find many of these sensors okay and with the progress of this course you are going to know about the working of different different sensors if you are not knowing okay so you have to uh, uh, see or if just see once ki how many sensors are there in your phone starting from your own phone and why why those sensors are used in your phone right so moving towards the next section uh, the section uh, here i am going to take some questions that are asked in the uh, discussion forum okay the discussion forum that is there in the nptel course so there are some questions that uh, some of you have asked okay so there is a query regarding this assignment number 1 there is a question number 3 giving options are not matching so someone is saying like jinak karana is saying that uh, the question number 3 that no options are matching right yes so um, i have also tried to find the answer so from the slide like the discuss uh, the thing that is discussed in the uh, course so uh, so this was the uh, this was the chart that that we have seen in the uh, product life cycle starting from development to the uh, development to the introduction and growth and maturity and decline so here if we see the option so there is uh, there is no option that is matching okay so uh, what i suggest you like this is a just this is just a suggestion don't take is like i am giving the correct answer to you okay so uh, if you are if you are if you are uh, if you mark my option and if you get wrong marks so, so please don't uh, say that uh, don't blame me ki that i have taught uh, this concept or i have uh, said that this option is correct i i just try to uh, figure out okay so what is the best possible option from this uh, these four options okay so best possible option is like this maturity is not at all at the last right it comes before the uh like uh, before this uh, this decline period right maturity decline is something which is at the last only are you getting yes yeah so this maturity option and this maturity options are incorrect right yes or no yes sir yes sir so we have two options this decline and this decline this option so moving another step this maturity and decline yeah they are in line but again here you you are seeing that maturity is coming before development is it possible that maturity comes before development yes or no sir did you change any um, screen yeah i have changed my screen again it is not visible Sir, sir, not visible. Yes, sir. Not visible. Yes, sir. Sir, you keep in presentation mode. Yeah, yeah. So, is it visible now? I am presenting a screen where it is written. Yes, question asked. 
असाइनमेंट नंबर वन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री गिवेन ऑप्शन आर नॉट वर्क नॉट मैचिंग इज इट विजिबल करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज नॉट Correct option is not here given in the options. Okay, correct. Uh, uh, second and third. What? Uh, second option. Second option. Okay, so you are saying second uh, second option. Yeah. So I am discussing yes. the only, that only second because option. because this this is the this is the thing that you have uh, studied in the course during the course you have, uh, must have seen this slide where it says that product life cycle starts from development to introduction and then growth and then maturity of the product and then decline. okay so here the product development starts okay where the engineers uh, feels the necessity of the uh, production of or making a some product then that product is developed and then it is introduced to the market once it is it is introduced to the market its sales grows okay and in a growth period its, its sales keep growing okay then there come a maturity period where where that uh, uh, that product get mature like everyone Uh, knows about that product and people uh, use that product and then uh, they feel need of some other product maybe they want to do some other product then the sale of that product get declined right so this is the product life cycle but in the option there are there is no such option given which is starts from development and going to end with decline so what i'm saying we have to select the best possible option so this maturity not at all come before uh, 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 before decline okay So decline is not uh, something that is uh, going to come before development. So this option is not there. Again, in this option, decline is coming before uh, this maturity. So it is also not there. Sorry, uh, this this option. Uh, I'm talking about this option. So uh, this is not there uh, because uh, uh, what you can say, uh, this decline is not coming before this maturity. and here also the uh, maturity is coming before development this is not possible the only best possible option that is coming is in this so we can say introduction and development are maybe in the same phase you can say okay so but rest are like growth maturity and decline these are coming in order so this is the best possible option that is given in this question so one may opt to select this option or uh, is up is it is up to you what you want to select okay if you select this if you get good if you get the marks okay that is okay but if you select this and if you are not getting marks if this is wrong okay so don't please don't blame me because i am not saying this is the correct option correct option this like this development introduction growth maturity and decline but as there is no option which is similar to this so the best possible option we have discussed is second option right okay sir okay so moving towards next question so now is it slide is changing no sir no sir so maybe some problem is i will rectify this problem next in next uh, session yeah. so maybe now this slide next slide is visible to you all right yes sir okay so uh, so then that's only remaining for this session so yeah Uh, this second question again it was asked like i have a question about what is happening in this video at uh, 11 minute and 23 second okay so the video link was there so i watched that video and comes like so this this was the screen at a point where like uh, 11 23 was there okay so uh, in this slide uh, it was uh, uh, it was discussion about the production system so com uh, com uh, here uh, the it is very nicely explained like what is a production uh, system okay so a production system uh, is a some system okay where there there comes a demand okay once the demand come so uh, this production system asks for take raw material and some facilities okay so it takes it as a input and then produced a and and then some human operator or workers are there so and then produce the product so a product is come out from this production system it goes to the market 
people use that product in the market and then that from that market there is a feedback is generated which again uh, given uh, or or may arise some new demand okay or it given to the production system for improvement in the current product so this was the thing that are that was uh, discussed at this point of the uh, slide hope you got the uh, clarification here okay so here in the slide also it is written like a production system is a collection of people here equipment so equipment means all the machines uh, uh, all the machines and uh, tools that you are using uh, for converting the raw product to the some useful product the procedure all the manufacturing processes that you are using organized to perform the manufacturing operation of a company right so uh, there are there are two uh, two things were there facilities and then manufacturing support system so uh, before discussing um, this i just wanted to go to the last question that i have so this question uh, again it was not visible i think so now it, now next slide is visible mechanical yes, watch sir. working sir yes okay so this was the third question that was asked in the question forum so the question was like uh, i have a question about what is happening at something 21 minute 34 in the video and this mechanical watch working so there's a doubt i thought about what uh, how this mechanical watch is watch work so mechanical watch are some are the watches that that exist in like in era of 90s uh, uh, where the people have to uh, have to uh, rotate the uh, what you can say the uh, the lever of the wheel uh, river of the lever of the watch so that it's keep running okay so uh, if the watch is not uh, that wheel is uh, that uh, that knob is not rotated for longer period of time so uh, after some time it is stop working so few of you have may, may have seen uh, such mechanical watches so uh, it doesn't use any battery or any electrical uh, equipment uh, but uh, they perform the operation continuously okay so how it was happening because in mechanical watches uh, they are powered by gears and spring okay so here you can see uh, there are lots of uh, gears and gear trains are there and then the spring systems are there so the motion is provided through this knob okay so uh, yeah so uh, this, this this there is a knob in the machine uh, in the in the watch okay this knob so people used to rotate that knob so this knob provide uh, 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 that uh, what you can say gives uh, uh, that the spring that is attached with with it it keeps uh, it stores the energy of that rotation okay and then it slowly releases the energy to the gear train and then gear train converts all the motion into the required motion of the uh, that clocks of the uh, clocks of clocks of the uh, sorry hand of the clocks okay so it keeps running it slowly leverage all the slow uh, very slowly the the power that it, that ha, that it has stored here uh, through rotation of this knob so this way that uh, what works so uh, you can see in um, uh, this gf like uh, how this uh, clock is clock hand is rotating okay so uh, there is a lots of gear train and it is rotating like this so uh, this is how a mechanical uh, watch works so uh, for the more clarification you can read the statement which is given like a mechanical watch is powered by gears and spring it uses calibrated motion to regulate time the basic principle behind a mechanical watch is the user turn the crown of the watch to wind the spring called the main spring so there is a main spring which uh, which get the uh, stores the energy once we rotate this this crown this the crown that is attached to the watch and this spring puts the force on the first gear of the train of the gears similar to the transmission this gear use train uh, uses uh, leverage to reduce the force significantly and apply a small amount of pressure, pressure to the mechanism called escapement this escapement does exactly what the name suggests it allows the energy stored in the main spring to escape very slowly and it regulates the release of this energy in order to turn the hands of the watch at the correct speed and keep the time run okay so this is how uh, uh, this mechanical uh, watches 
perform their task. Uh, so uh, that's uh, this. This this is all about the presentation that I have made for you. So I'm coming again back to the screen. Yeah. So I'm stopping the presentation. Okay. So uh, one question that I have to discuss is the uh, about the facilities and the uh, what 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 uh, what are the com like two components are there in the uh, manufacturing system that is the uh, facility and the uh, production system. So uh, hello. Yes, sir. We are hearing. Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, okay. So, talking about the facilities, okay. So, the facilities are, uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, the just a second, just a second. Yeah. So, the facilities are something uh, that is that is present in the. Yes. Anyone is speaking something? Okay. So, so, so the facilities are something that is um, uh, that we require to uh, produce a component, uh, to to convert that raw material into the required comp uh, required object or the uh, required component. Okay. In any manufacturing system. So, uh, the facilities are like uh, uh, what you can say the factory. Okay. The where the, the place where we are. Uh, uh, we are uh, getting the raw pr raw product and from where the raw product is getting out as a some uh, useful component then the machine tools like that we are that we are using in the uh, at that soft, soft floor such as lathe drilling machine or any 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 other thing okay that we are using to convert that raw raw product to this then some uh, uh, some computer system inspection systems okay and all the uh, all the human uh, workforce Okay, so all these comes under the facilities part of that, right? Rest next was the uh, mechanical uh, uh, that production uh, that production uh, uh, manufacturing support system. So manufacturing support system is like he uh, what are the process plans that are required for uh, 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 for converting that raw material to the uh, product? Okay, so in this process. Uh, what are all the planning and the steps that are required? Okay, so that comes under the manufacturing support system, right? Okay, sir. I hope I hope I have answered the questions that you have. Yes, sir. Now I clear. Okay. So, uh, is there any any other query? So I'm um, there. Are, there is like we are in the running out of time now. But I'm here. Uh, if you have any query, you can ask ask to me. In next uh, one to three minutes, uh, is there any query? Please feel free to ask regarding this. Uh, uh, this course, sir, can we get the um, uh, rough note for the materials that are rough note for the materials? Okay, so. Uh, this is uh, uh, <laughs> so I, I am not an uh, uh, authorized person to provide this rough material for this course. Uh, this not, course. Uh, not the uh, upcoming sections, but finished sections. So that you have to watch the videos, and that uh, the presentation is all already uploaded there. Okay, so you have to yeah. watch those videos, and then you have to because this is a self learning course. Okay, so okay. you have to learn by your own self. Okay. And uh, if it, uh, um, all the study materials that are required to learn the course is provided there, and and the and this query query session is there, okay, so that your queries are getting solved. So uh, there is no such um, service of providing this um, what you can say handwritten notes, okay. So you may communicate with each other, other people who are here, maybe someone making notes, and maybe they are willing to help you. So they may help you by providing their notes to you. Okay, but it is uh, it is it will be good if you make your self note. Okay, I already written myself. No, I am okay. uh, asking for the material uh, that's SARS in um, PDF file, uh, almost like document. Uh -huh. So, so there, there the material like the PDF 
sorry a pdf is there on the uh, portal okay so where okay. it contains the presentation of the uh, professor that uh, uh, who is uh, teaching that uh, this from where he is teaching okay the same presentation okay. is there on the uh, in that port, uh, in the portal only so you can download okay. that okay okay thank you sir yes sir uh, anything else anyone want to discuss So how flexible line system is differ from production line? How a uh, flexible line is differ from production line? Okay, so production line and flexible line that like these are the uh, this term is very clearly saying that uh, why 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 we are calling flexible and why we are calling production line. So a production line system can be a flexible uh, kind of okay. Flexible means we are providing uh, more flexibility towards the operations that are carried out. okay so suppose there is certain rules where there are there are rules okay rule based thing ki at one station drilling will perform at another station this operation this painting operation will perform another operation another station uh, station that this operation this particular operation is performed okay in flexible kind of uh, thing this stations are not fixed or this operations are not fixed suppose uh, they at the first station there is availability of some certain machines okay number of machines so that the machine which is available that that perform it operation and it ask uh, like other operation will perform in some other uh, at some other station okay so this add to the flex this adds flexibility in the uh, what you can say on the production line so this is uh, what is the major difference right i hope you got the answer yes sir hello okay so um, as we run out of time uh, if you don't have any query uh, if you have any query you can write on the discussion forum i will take it uh, next week same time uh, in the same session okay so we are meeting every saturday uh, from 3 to 4 pm you may join this session for discussing your queries and all and uh, uh, will uh, i will be solving some questions for you and then taking the questions that you have asked from on the discussion forum and uh, you are also open for one one and one uh, discussion uh, after all uh, these so uh, thank you everyone for joining this session so if you want to connect with me you can uh, go on my website and you can see there and uh, that's all from my side for today's session uh, thank you very much for joining this session i'm closing thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you very much Thank you very much.